Good morning, everybody! Uh, I got some coffee here. Ah, so good! Uh, and you can kind of see a sneak peek a little bit over here. So, I wanted to do this video. There'll be a video coming out later today. Probably, well, Jericho's Live is at 7, so I'll probably go do about 5, 5 p.m., Get ready. Guys, I did something over here. I'm, you can already kind of tell what it is, but I'm not going to really say too much. But it's a... F yeah, you can, you can guess. Um, guys, I'm pumped on it. Oh, I love it. Um, I absolutely love it. It gave me so much more oomph in my soul now when I'm in here. Uh, it, it just makes this place look more like a home. It's awesome. And uh, I am just pumped with life right now. Uh, things are going absolutely amazing out here. The building's continuing, uh, looking up, and then I see the loft done up there. It, it like that, and then working on this uh, out there uh, at Danielle's house. Us hanging out, it's going absolutely great. Uh, Christmas is right around the corner. I'll get to hang out with Danielle's family again uh, for uh, Christmas dinner, lunch, something, I don't know exactly what it is, uh, exchange presents, hang out with all of them, and then I think um, Danielle's mom might be coming into town after that, and then uh, since it is far away, my parents, we're trying to set up a good time to go down there, we think we might have a, a time set, we haven't, told, we haven't told my parents yet because we want to make 100% sure that's what we're going to do. And Daniel will have the time off because it's about 13 hours away. That's a full day's worth of driving, which I never like to do in one day. So we have to break it up, which means that's two days down there, two days back. That's already four days just driving. So uh, we are trying to plan that type of stuff to go down there. And then, Mom and Dad, I know you're watching. I'll let you know when. But... Uh, trying to see family as much as we can right now um, unfortunately my parents live in a different state Danielle's parents live in a different state so it's just difficult but uh, we have each other and I'm excited about that for Christmas itself I think Matt might be going down to my parents house um, because my dad I think he'll be there around that time because my dad's um, doing stuff with his uh, cancer treatments and all that type of stuff and so um, definitely keep my family in your thoughts and prayers good vibes whatever you believe in um, just uh, definitely keep my mom and dad in your prayers and then you know Matt safe travels going down there and depending on how Jared's schedule kind of works out maybe Danielle and I can just go down to Jared's for a little bit or Jared can come up here so we could spend it together and uh, you know we're not alone and he's not alone we'll try to figure something out and then maybe um, I, I don't go live often anymore um, I haven't gone live in like two weeks or so or maybe three weeks now I don't remember but uh, uh, maybe we can go live on Christmas for a little bit just to kind of be with some of you guys that may not have family and stuff and realistically we would be by ourselves uh, if we don't go down to Jared's or Jared comes up here so uh, it'd be cool just to hang out with you guys for a little bit for that and uh, yeah I don't know it, it's just life's good life is good right now um, makes me a little teary eyed just thinking about how good it is um, no, it's, uh, it's actually going very well. Uh, I'm very happy, and I think a huge part of it has to do with, I say it all the time, Danielle, and then another huge part of it is the love and support from you guys, and then even Danielle said the other day, she's like, man, like, there really hasn't been a whole lot of haters on your channel anymore, and realistically, I think it's because I feel like I've been in a better mood. I feel like I'm not addressing them anymore. I don't. Jason, you're addressing them right now. Some of them about. But, um, I, I've just been doing what I want to do. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to try to post a video strictly off-grid. Off-grid living. This is how you could. This is how you did it. Like, I did that part of my life. Um, 
this is just time for me to have fun and do whatever I want. If I want to do videos of just hanging out with my dogs, that's what I'm going to do. If I want to do a video of just me driving in my truck, that's what I'm going to do. If I want to do videos building, that's what I'm going to do. Whatever I feel like doing, that's what I'm going to do now. Because at the end of the day, this is my life. And I make a living on YouTube for my life. And I want to have fun. I don't want this to be a job. It is definitely a job. It's a lot of work. But I want to have as much fun as I possibly can and just enjoy it. And life's been so good that I'm just going to keep it as good as possible. Like drinking this coffee. But back to that. Um, I know most of you guys can already kind of tell what it is. But if you don't really know, feel free to guess down below. And... Uh, I've got some more stuff that I'm going to do to it. Uh, I am very pleased with it. Whenever I was building it, I sent a picture to my family and then um, kind of got their input on it a little bit. And then I, I text Danielle and Danielle was like, oh my gosh, that was like really good. And part of me was like, does she not think the rest of my building's good? Or is she very impressed with this? Either way, I'll take it. But uh, I do have some ideas that I think would make this pop even more. Um... You guys will see in the video literally coming out today, uh, about 5 p.m. Jerry be going live at 7. So uh, you guys will want to watch that and then give me your feedback on what you think of it and give me your genius ideas of what maybe I could do to it to make it look even cooler. I already have some ideas, but maybe with y'all's ideas added into it, I could really make this sucker pop and just be the just the statement piece. And that's the vision I had from the very beginning walking in this shed when there was nothing, which is crazy. I just had a flashback to what it looked like when I first came in here. All junked out, nothing in here. This is wild. I'm thinking about it right now. This is wild. Um... But I came in, my vision was like, I want a fireplace area. All right, you already guessed what it was. It's a fireplace area. But uh, I, I just, in the moment, I was like, I was trying not to tell you guys, but I told you. Um, so I wanted, when you walked in, I wanted this corner just to be like, boom. Like, I wanted you to see the kitchen, and you turn this way, just, poof, you see the fireplace area. And uh, I am happy with it. I'm very happy with it um clearly it could have been way more over the top but i wanted to kind of go with what's going on in here uh you guys will watch the video later and i ask you questions about it and stuff you'll kind of get an idea of what i'm going for um adding to it and stuff like that but um yeah i don't know i just want this video to just uh come out and just be an awesome fun video and just show you guys this is me. I mean, I, I this is just how I am right now in my life, and life is going very well, and I hope it's going very well for you guys. I know there's been a lot of stuff kind of happening. Um, there were some tornadoes that went near here, um, and this just destroyed like Arkansas, Missouri, stuff like that, and I think Kansas. I mean, destroyed it, and it was sad to see that the pictures and footage and stuff and I think like a nursing home collapsed and um, there was like an Amazon warehouse that just got destroyed and tons of people lost their lives and got injured and lost their stuff and it just really it makes you sad but at the same time since it didn't happen to me and it didn't affect me personally I have to reflect on that and just think I am very fortunate that it wasn't more west. It would have came right there. It would have destroyed all of this. It would have, everything I had would have been gone. Um, it, it could have killed me. It could have, you know, it, it just makes you appreciate every day that you wake up and it's a good day. So I am very, very saddened by all that news, but I'm very thankful that it didn't happen to me. And it just makes you realize like, hey, life is short. Live it to the fullest. Don't let haters bring you down. Don't let negativity bring you down. If there's anyone negative in your life, cut them out. Don't waste time. Take my advice. Don't waste time. Your gut will tell you this person's not good for you. This person, you know, whether it's your significant other, a family member, a friend, uh, someone that just came in your life, whatever, you know, you know deep down if someone isn't bringing value to your life or your job's not bringing value to your life or whatever it is, just start to enjoy life, and if anything negative or anything that's not 
making your life better, get rid of it and get rid of it now and don't look back. Just just go. And I am living proof that I am just genuinely so much happier and in a better mood and like I feel like I have so much energy now and it, it it's crazy. It just blows my mind. I wish I would have done this a long time ago, but Anyways, I'm going to go and jump off here. Hope you guys like a little sneak peek. Stick around 5 p.m. Uh, later. There will be a video coming out. And then Jared's live chat will be coming out at 7 p.m. This is Monday. So if you're watching this after, after it, it, you have to go back and watch it. Um, but, uh, yeah, hope you guys have an awesome day. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace!